How you doing everybody? Matt here with American Campfire Creations and today I want to just give you a little information about where we're camping at. We're staying at another Thousand Trails site in North Carolina uh, right outside of Moxville actually. It's a site called Lake Myers RV Resort. Uh, it's got about 444 uh, sites available but uh, unfortunately most of them are permanent live-ins. As you can see here in the background uh, people have their RVs sort of set up with like an attached porch. Um, so where we're actually staying at, um, like the site right here and next to me, are rentable sites through Thousand Trails. And of course, right here where we're sitting. And as I pan away here, you can kind of get an idea of the size of the spots. So our, our rig is 30 feet um, from uh, tail to nose. So we got our rig in here just fine. And there's actually a picnic table and some space over on the other side. And then I got my truck right here up front. But uh, because there's nobody in this spot where I'm standing right now, it really opens up the area. So it makes it seem like it's not quite so crowded. But I could see during like a busier time of year, it's seeming a little too close together right here if there were people camping at these two spots next to us. But for the most part, we actually really enjoy this campsite. Um, it's nicely located about 30 to 40 minutes outside of Charlotte. We're actually here visiting family right now. So it's been nice to be able to stay up here because we're Thousand Trails members um, for essentially for free because uh, membership after a while actually starts to pay for itself. Um, it's normally, I believe 75 a night to stay at this campground which personally, I don't know that I would actually pay that. But uh, like I said, because we're Thousand Trails members, it doesn't cost us really anything. So for us to stay here, it's more of a convenience factor. Um, it is a cool site though. They have a lake, obviously Lake Myers, but uh, you know, we can kayak here. Um, it has been cold and rainy since we've been here. I mean, it's that time of year right now here in North Carolina, but uh, so I didn't get the kayak down, but you could kayak around. Uh, there's some hiking. As you can see, we're right here in the midst of all these beautiful trees. Um, I mean, I can only imagine what this looks like in the spring and summer. But uh, yeah, we've kind of just been having to stay inside the trailer mostly recently because of the weather. It um, hasn't been great here, but today I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the nice weather and be able to do a sort of like a walk around of the campgrounds tour. Um, so yeah. Right now where we're sitting is right up against where all the recreational stuff is for the park. Uh, there's sort of like a little putt-putt area here, uh, basketball courts. Uh, they have the pools over here uh, for when the, I believe they open up in the summer. Um, they have a, a nice um, arcade and like little area where you can get food and stuff like that. And then there's picnic tables and things underneath the, the covered area over here. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, there's not a whole lot of these open spots. Most It's mostly, like I said, these permanent structures. But um, yeah, they have everything you need here. They got laundries right across from us here. And we're at site B14. So it's pretty centrally located in the park. Um, they've got horseshoes and things like this all the way up here in a dog park area. Um, they actually have a really cool water slide area up at the front of the park that goes right into the lake. And they got a uh, water mill up there that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the Wi-Fi is uh, free here. Um, it's basic, you know, but, um, but for the most part, we like this area. I mean, I would definitely come back here probably again in like the summertime just so we could really see like all the foliage on these trees and everything i mean that, that would be beautiful but uh i'm gonna go ahead and do sort of like an aerial video of the park so you can kind of get an idea of the size and what what's actually available i would like to do a ride around tour but unfortunately the roads here they're pretty narrow and they're not well paved uh, they're rough around most of the park so I'm not going to be able to do a riding around tour like I usually would on my scooter. So I'll go ahead and just do a little bit of video recording with the drone uh, so you can kind of get it above you. But yeah, 
I would dec definitely recommend coming to stay over here at the Lake Myers RV Resort if you guys are Thousand Trails members. That way you can take advantage of this centrally located uh, North Carolina park, uh, especially if you're traveling up the East Coast like we are. Um, so yeah, gonna go ahead and start the aerial tour and uh, see you on the other side. That was my little aerial view of the of the park here i'm gonna go ahead and sign off just want to remind all of you all of you to subscribe to the channel check out some of my other videos here and uh yeah we're gonna keep on exploring up the east coast here i'll be doing another video this week on a harvest host that we're going to uh next it's a vineyard actually in uh virginia and yeah looking forward to doing a more of these thousand trail site campground tours so i'm gonna go ahead and sign off and i'll see all of you around the next campfire be easy everybody